Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to say before and the time clause of this uh, phrase. And uh, I hope this is going to be helpful for you. So if you see that you're learning something, I would appreciate if you give you give me a like. So let's go through the lesson, how to say before First, we're going to have a noun and then we have the suffix of done or done Then we have the word önce Önce means before. And these phrase uh, together will create the uh, cluster of words that will mean before something, something. For example, kahvaltıdan önce means before breakfast. Bunlardan önce means before these. Adana'dan önce means before Adana. Öğleden önce means before noon. Senden önce means before you. İzmir'den önce means before Izmir. Izmir and Adana are names of cities. And if we have a vocabulary that ends to any of these letters, th, th, th, k, ch, sh, th, th sound, when we bring dan and done, they turn to tan and ton. Then we have önce. And together they mean before something something. So let's go through the examples. We have duraktan önce before bus stop. İkinci sokaktan önce before the second street. Ulaştan önce means before ulaş. Ulaş is a city. Değişiklikten önce means before the change. Dilekten önce, Dilek is the name of a girl, before Dilek. Kalkitten önce, before Kalkit. Kalkit is a small town. Okay. Here we have the prohibition verb, then we have done or done, and then we have önce. What is prohibition verb? It is the imperative verb, it's the root, and uh, then we have the suffix of negativity, uh, because when we are talking about something uh, that is before something, these uh, mentioned event uh, is something that has not happened yet. That's why we have this uh, negativity here. We are going to say that this event, this verb, uh, was not happened and uh, before this happening, uh, something, something else happens. So here we have the phrase to mention that something was not happened yet, that something else happened. That's why we have these negative suffixes here. So we have the verb yap, for example. 
and we have the suffix of negativity of ma then we have done then we have önce actually uh, in some um, I can say in some grammar techniques you may see modern or medan uh, which I'm going to have also that kind of explanation of this grammar as well, which may seem uh, easier to memorize. And uh, that is also mentioned in uh, books. But actually, uh, this is my analysis and this is the detailed analysis that why I am saying that we have these segments separated and for what they are being used. So I'm interested in uh, giving things in detail and uh, this must be, I think, explained like this. Okay, so we have yap, ma, dan, önce, which means before going before doing, sorry. And if we say ban yapmadan önce, it's going to mean before I do. Okay? In this part, in the left side, here, we may talk about any subject, but here the subject is obvious. So, in the meaning, we are going to include the subject which is given here. We have the verb uyu. I have chosen it because of its thick vowel here. Uyu, ma, dan, önce. These all together mean before sleeping. And if we use a subject, it's going to mean before I sleep. Uyan means wake up. Ma, dan, önce means before waking up. For anybody, for any subject. But if we make the subject obvious, for example, like ban uyumadan önce, it means before I wake up. Let's have some more examples. Here, we're going to have examples with the same sound. We have et, me, dan, önce. Together they mean before doing. It can go with any subject. If we bring a subject, for example, ban, it's medan önce, it's going to mean before I do. Gel me dan önce means before coming. Ban gel medan önce means before I come. Git me dan önce means before going. Ben gitmeden önce means before I go. Okay, here I have translated in simple present tense to English. However, uh, this can go with any tense for any uh, time that you are going to use the um, sentence for any special context of any time. Uh, here, just for the example, to make it simple, I have translated to a simple present. It could be translated to simple past or whatever tense, because here we don't have any uh, tense or time in the time clause. We just mean that uh, what has happened before the verb or whatever, but including the uh, translation 
we we may change it um, according to the rest of the sentence and the context. Okay, so I have your example for all the subjects. Ban yap madan önce before I do. Sen yap madan önce before you do. O yap madan önce before she does or he does. Biz yap madan önce before we do. Biz yap madan önce before you do. Onlar yap madan önce before they do. Or I could have said before I did, before you did. Depends to the rest of the sentence here. This is only the clause. Ben uyumadan önce, before I sleep, sen uyumadan önce, before you sleep, o uyumadan önce, before she sleeps, biz uyumadan önce, before we sleep, Siz uyumadan önce, before you sleep, in plural. Onlar uyumadan önce, before they sleep. Ben uyanmadan önce, before I wake up. Sen uyanmadan önce, before you wake up. O uyanmadan önce, before she wakes up. Siz uyanmadan önce, before we wake up. Siz uyumadan önce, biz uyumadan önce, before... We wake up, siz uyumadan önce, before you wake up, onlar uyumadan, pardon, um, onlar uyanmadan önce, before they wake up. Okay. Ben etmeden önce, before I do, sen etmeden önce, before you do, o etmeden önce, before she does, biz etmeden önce, before we do. Siz etmeden önce, before you do, onlar etmeden önce, before they do. Okay, for those who just seeing this video for the first time, um, you realize that I have two verbs which mean do. One is yap and one is et. I have two separate videos for these two because these verbs are verbs that uh, have meanings in combination especially in combination with some other words. And I have very common uh, examples that you may use in daily life. So please go through those videos and uh, benefit from them. Ben gitmeden önce, before I go. Sen gitmeden önce, before you go. O gitmeden önce, before she goes. Biz gitmeden önce, before we go. Siz gitmeden önce, before you go, onlar gitmeden önce, before they go. Ben gelmeden önce, before I came, here you see I've translated to simple past. Sen gelmeden önce, before you came, o gelmeden önce, before she came, biz gelmeden önce, before we came, Siz gelmeden önce, before you came, onlar gelmeden önce, before they came. Okay, so here uh, at the end of this video, I hope you have received uh, enough examples. Uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to mention in the comments. If you want more videos, please push me with your comments because... Uh, what makes me motivated is what you write to me. And if I feel that uh, there are more people that are getting help and I feel more useful for them, I will make more and more and more, more videos. That will raise my responsibility feeling. Okay, um, so nothing more to say. Just I can tell you that please uh, have more practices. And you can even write some examples to me. Make sure that if you are using those examples in a correct way, I will help you. I will answer any questions that you have. And uh, yeah, that's it. Good luck.